Alright my dear, this is Ujjwal and today in this video I am going to share with you Radial Conduction Heat Transfer, HD means Heat Transfer through Composite Slab Alright, so in my previous couple of videos I have shared with, shared with you Conduction of Heat in Radial Hollow Cylinder as well as Conduction of Heat in Slab, Composite Slab and Convection also but today in this video I'm going to share with you this one so if you are talking about composite uh, cylinder then this would be like this right this one and then we'll have another one this is a hollow cylinder inside this one is hollow right and we're having this is composite this means this is composite right this would be like this and if we'll say like this then I have to draw like this right let me use another pen that's why you can understand better way right so this is R1 suppose that this is R1 this is R2 and this one is R3 okay so this is the composite cylinder and suppose that length of the cylinder is L for this one k1 and for this one is k2 i hope you know what is k1 I mean, k1 and k2 thermal conductivity right so <clears throat> what exactly we are assuming here assumption because without assumptions we cannot assumptions assumptions are only one assumption we are taking uh, two assumption assumption i must say one is steady state condition and uh, read one dimensional radial heat transfer that's it so we are having we are assuming two things steady state and one dimensional heat transfer okay now first of all as i have i have already shared with you heat transfer radial conduction through a hollow cylinder and here we are having composite cylinder the most most important thing is that we have to know how to draw the thermal circuit diagram once you we will come to know how to draw thermal circuit diagram then solving such type of problem is just like that you don't need to put or you don't need to headache and one good news my dear yes after this will solve a gate problem related to this topic only that's why you will have a numerical approach too with theoretical approach okay so let's draw this thermal circuit this is the thermal circuit here right and suppose that we are having temperature t1 here and t2 here and t3 here we are having two resistances over here so as you know we have also seen in the uh, hollow cylinder i mean hollow cylinder the resistance is what i n sorry l l n r 2 y r 1 2 pi k 1 l okay we have already know come to know about it this is resistance right and for this case t2 r 3 pi r 2 this is natural log 2 pi k2l k2 for this one and k1 for this one right so we are having two resistances because of two materials we have put it put it here it could be three it could be four but it could at least two because this is a case of composite slab that's why there should be at least two right i hope you understand this okay now if we wanted to find out heat transfer rate for this uh, for this i mean for this diagram then what would be the next step that is important right as you know q is equal to q is equal to uh, qq is equal to delta t by rth this is the simplest one right you know that it's the simplest one now if q is equal to delta t by rth then what we have to do to find out it Okay, so here is it delta T delta T RTS means natural log R1 by R2 okay 
2 pi k1 l plus natural log r3 by r2 2 pi k2 l here what is the meaning of delta d that is most important once we will come to know the meaning of delta t then things become much easier delta t means t1 minus t2 so this is all about this is all about it that what i mean how is it possible for us to find out heat transfer rate q for the case of composite slab okay now 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 most important thing so we are having a formula to finding out heat transfer rate for composite slab we can use this formula we can use this concept to solve numerical problems doesn't matter where it would be asked or it has been asked already i hope you are getting me right so let's go for the numerical problem all right my dear so today we got this question and this question has been asked in gate 2004 if i'm not wrong and we're having options here one two three four as you can see right so this is a question of you know cylinder I mean, this is a question of cylinder but composite cylinder right so let's draw it first of all diagram is most important at least if you are beginner if you are not a beginner then you can easily draw any diagram you don't need to have panic you can easily solve the question but if you're a beginner then if you draw a diagram then it becomes quite easier for you to understand the situation and you can easily solve the question without making any mistake okay we have already drawn the diagram now what we have given exactly we have given two diameters internal diameter as well as external diameter and of course we are having we have also given uh, the asbestos thickness so we have given this one is three centimeter insulated three centimeter asbestos thickness and the internal diameter is how much given two centimeter two centimeter and the external diameter we have given five centimeter this one is five centimeter okay and this one is two centimeter now remember my dear before solving any numerical problem at least for gate you have to put your concentration unit on unit because unit is most important for gate remember that okay so you should not make mistake in that in that case right if you will make mistake in that case you are going to solve the question but yes you will not mark the, you cannot mark the right answer that is the main problem okay so here we got all those things what we required now what we have given what find out that is heat transfer rate per unit length that means we have to find out q y l as you know we are having this so we can draw the network diagram quite easily because we have just understand this so t1 t2 and t3 okay now here rth1 and rth2 so rth1 would be natural log r2 by r1 so let's say d2 by d1 so 5 by 2 don't need to see the what see the unit because we are having division so doesn't matter it will not matter and 2 pi k k is how much still 19 and l we don't have value for l now natural log now this is important here probably most probably you are make, going to make mistake okay most probably you are going to make mistake so what what would be that mistake that is you are going to make mistake here you are going to put three but it's not three it's total we have to add right we have to add it so three plus five plus three so six and five eleven okay so natural log 11 by r2 means r3 by r3 by r2 r2 means how much 5 2 pi k 0.2 l right so we got two resistances here now what we required nothing we have given already given the difference outer innermost and outermost surfaces difference between innermost and outermost surface temperature is must be 600 degree centigrade so we have already given t1 minus t3 is equal to how much 600 degree centigrade so we don't need to see around that so q is equal to 600 degree centigrade 5 by 2 2 pi 19 into l 
plus natural log 11 by 5 2 pi into 0 0.2 into L we have to we can send this L to this side after taking common right okay yeah right so Q by L is equal to 600 natural log 5 by 2 2 pi into 19 11 by 5 2 pi into 0 0.2 as simple as that so this is what we need to find out we got all values here now what we have to do we have to use calculator well I have already calculated this problem so I know the answer so after calculation we are going to get values about 944.72 watt per meter because this is it this is here Q watt L meter per meter right so unit is matching as we have given in the options right so what would be the option 944.72 so yeah c is the right answer so this is how you can solve problem if you get in any examination maybe gate maybe complete exam any other complete examination maybe your university examination then you can easily solve the problem i hope you understand the concept behind this topic thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye